Hey everybody, this is now my fourth try at starting this. Now that's because Mercury is retrograde. Maybe it's because I had a very long day. I read tarot at a corporate event all day from 9 in the morning till like 4.30 in the afternoon. So the moon is in Leo. Wherever the moon is, it governs how you feel. It governs how everybody's feel. It governs the mood of the people. So with the moon in Leo, everybody's feeling very positive, outgoing. They want to party. They're expressing their hearts. Um, it's important that you express what's in your heart, especially when the moon's in Leo. Otherwise, you can have troubles with your heart. So you can tap on your heart chakra to help it stay open. So Leos are very proud. They can be vain. You know, they like to take center stage. They like to shine. So look at where Leo is in your own chart to find out where, while the moon is transiting Leo, how it's affecting you personally. Okay. So again, lots of drama with the moon in Leo. Now, the moon squares Mercury and Taurus. Mercury is retrograde, of course. How couldn't we forget? And so again, there could be extra issues with communications, with practical things, money, finances, banking, which I'm, you know, predicting is going to go through a big fall in the next little while. The moon trines Chiron and Aries, so it's a good time to take off your armor, to be more vulnerable, to be strong enough to be vulnerable, to be courageous. You know, the moon in Leo gives you lots of courage. The moon... Um, sextiles Venus at the end of the day in Gemini. That's good for flirting and to meet with people and communications a little more upbeat. Did I mention the moon squares Uranus and Taurus? Again, so chaos going on uh, in the world, uh, in your own life. Expect the unexpected. The moon will stay in Leo until the 29th at 2.59 p.m. Now we're getting ready to have that big eclipse, which actually occurs on the 5th that at the middle degree of Scorpio, very intense, um, with Uranus squaring it. So I'm going to do a live broadcast of one of my astrology workshops. This one's going to be special because all of the eclipse uh, workshops are special. We don't intend anything. It's a big lunar eclipse. What we do is we work with the energy so it's internal. It's going to be a big cosmic flush, a big letting go of all of the past crap. Okay, so this is going to be really powerful. So I'm going to do this one on the third so that you have time to really work with the eclipse energy before it happens on the fifth and it happens at 1.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So if you'd like to join me for a live workshop, we're going to be chanting, praying together, really letting go of a lot of old toxic crap that really needs to be let go of, a lot of paranoia as well. That's a Scorpio trait. So if you want to find out about that, you can get in touch with me through terratero.com. You can sign up through eTransfer, through PayPal, through Stripe actually as well. Um, Tara Green Tara at gmail.com is my email. So wishing you all the best blessings. I'm also going to be live for a freebie on Sunday night on April the 30th doing the May preview for the Cosmic Intelligence Agency on their Facebook page. So sending you many blessings of the day. Speak to you soon. Bye.